POV. You're confused because you opened up FL Studio and you had a drum beat ready to go and you put a sample in there and it didn't line up and it sounded like this. That's disgusting. What do we do about it? I'm going to show you how to do it in an easy way. And also, this video is a clip from a longer video called The ABCs of FL Studio, which you can find in the description of this video. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. So time stretching was one thing that really confused the hell out of me when I first started, but I'm going to break it down in a very simple way that even if you're a five year old watching this, you will be able to understand it. So if you double click on the sample that you want to time stretch, it will bring up this menu right here. And this right here is your time stretch knob which is going to determine how your sample stretches. As you can see, I moved the knob, the sample moves like that and gets all jiggly. And then to the right, we have the mode, the different time stretching modes. Now listen here, buddy, I've been producing for 10 years and I've never used any mode except for resample, stretch and stretch pro. So that's all I'm going to focus on because I think that's all you need to know. The simplest way to time stretch something from the jump is just to go to the time knob, right click it, go to auto detect. Sometimes it will get it right and sometimes it will not. So if it doesn't get it right and hopefully whatever sample you got has the BPM information, you can just go to uh, type in BPM and then you just type in whatever BPM the OG sample is. So you type that in and then you press enter and then look at that. It's on beat now, but oh no! What? The pitch is different now. Why did that happen? That's because you have the resample mode selected. If we select the stretch sample mode, it will stay the same pitch. And then you can go to the pitch knob and change it to whatever pitch you want it to be at and it will stay at the same BPM that you have it set at. And Stretch Pro is pretty much like Stretch except it gives you the option to format shift. Which can give you some pretty cool effects. I don't really use it much but uh, you could if you wanted to. And that's pretty much all you need to know for time stretching. That's how easy it is. And if you'd like to see more easy tutorials on FL Studio, check out the video in the description called the ABCs of FL Studio and you have yourself a lovely FL Studio day.